If you've been waiting for an update on the pumpkin patch, as you can see, the heat has taken its toll. We got new little pumpkins coming on. There's one right there. But as they come on and start to get a little bigger, they begin to rot. It's been 100 degrees here every day now for almost two weeks. And although I water them every day, you can see that one right there, it's pretty much dead. Pretty much dead. It had pumpkin. It had a small pumpkin on it. And it just rotted. And as you can see, the soil is wet. There's no reason for it to be dead. Except it just couldn't handle the heat. Just could not handle the heat. The vines burst open. Never had one do that before. And remember the mystery pumpkin? That they told me was a um, butternut. Well, there was another one. And the master gardener said there was probably only one seed in that whole batch of seeds I ordered from Baker Creek. Well, as you can see, that vine right there looks just like this vine right here that's making butternut. And these two are not even fully grown, and they're already beginning to turn yellow, and I figure that's from the heat. Uh, and my Hubbards, I don't know if they'll ever make it to be as big as they would have, if not if this 100 degree heat wave we, and drought. It's not just a heat wave, we have a drought going on too, a severe drought at that. And the peanut pumpkins, that is probably as big as that one was going to get. And the nice large one that we had. Oh. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, right here. That's, as, that's probably as big as that one's going to get. The vines just can't take it. They're not ravaged by vine borers. It's just this heat. It's, it's awful. I've never seen a hotter May in my 68 years. And as you can see, this vine here is dying. And it's got a nice little Hubbard on it. And I, I wondered, could I take this Hubbard off now and actually cure it and keep it? Or will it rot? I don't know. I've never had to pull one before it was grown a mature pumpkin so I, just, I don't know what to do I don't know where to risk it just curing in the sun and and this Hubbard vine looks like it's rotting dying and they get watered every day every day even water right here where they put down roots from the vines the birds love it the bees love it water I always water after the flowers are closed up this nice little Jaredale here that's probably as, it, its vine still looks relatively healthy on this end but if you look a little closer on that end it doesn't so it's a gamble I guess uh, if I'd have known we was going to have this kind of heat and drought I probably wouldn't have spent all this money and all this time trying to grow these pumpkins this year. Because look at that vine. It's dying. It's not from lack of water. It's not from lack of fertilizer. It's not from lack of care. It's just dying. It, they can't stand the heat. Now they like heat. Don't get me wrong. They like heat. But in May, 100 degree temperature. See how moist that dirt is? Look at that. It doesn't need any water. It's just as moist as it can be.
I could overwater them and it would cause the vines to burst open even more. See how that vine burst right here? See, right there. That's not vine bore damage. That vine, thankfully that's a leaf. And it can live without that leaf. But if this main vine burst open from the heat, you kiss everything on it goodbye. Oh, if you're wondering about that cucumber, I didn't find it until it was awfully large already, so I thought I'd just save it for seed. None of these need water. I watered them all this morning. They're all still nice and moist. Uh, speaking of which, I've got to bring my clippers out here and clip some cucumbers off this one on the end. I noticed some cucumbers out here this morning that needed to be gathered. But it was so hot at 9 o'clock out here this morning that I almost overheated and got sick. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just so disgusted. So disgusted. All this hard work. All this money, time, everything. We don't get some rain soon. And the weather don't cool down some. It's all going to be for naught. Wasted. Got quite a few little eggplant fruit. Well, the German pinks finally put on some tomatoes that stayed. I gave them all some generic time because I found a blossom in rod on one. And here's another strange pumpkin. I don't know what that one is. Really don't. I give up trying to guess what they are. I won't be ordering seeds from Baker Seed again. Oh, where was that? Oh, that cucumber there is just the right size to be good in a salad. Or just, oh, well, I see another one. See another one. Oh, my goodness. I got to go in and get my clippers and clip them. They're thorny little boogers. Oh, they're pickling cucumbers, so. That's it. All the fruit and everything seems to be doing okay in the heat. Uh, figs and the birds are picking my uh, grapes green they must be terribly hungry I put a bird bath out back so they could have water hey it's thundering we might get rain and the birds are eating all the blueberries as they get ripe so no blueberries and if they find this tomato before I, it ripens they'll pack it too but I'm sympathetic to the birds and I gave them some water see see the bird bath back there I don't know if you can catch it on camera or not but anyway we may be getting a shower and I thank God if we are praise the Lord that's it for today I would say what oh uh, What's his name did on Star Trek? Live long and prosper. <laughs> but God bless anyway.